Hello, this is Sullivan Czar, and I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube edges first. Um, edges first isn't very common. I, I, I don't really use it, but I'm going to teach you how to do it because it's easy and um, not much algorithms to it. So, here we go. Okay, the first step is to get the white cross and also the colors have to match the centers like green and there's the center green and orange and orange blah blah okay so that's that's the first step second step is to get like the middle edges solved and then the last step for the edges are to have it solved and then you I'll show you how to do the corners okay so anyways let's get on to business okay the first step which is white cross you have the white center at the bottom and then you rotate um, the cube so that all the white stickers are on the top layer and it's all intuitive so there's not any algorithms to it okay so then once you have it looking like this you turn the cube so that the cubey the white and blue matches with the center the, so blue and blue and you rotate it 180 degrees and same with everything else okay and then solve the cross okay now the next step is solving edges so the first edge piece that you like you, you look at the top for the edges there's a red and a green edge so then you put it so that the green on top is above the green center and then you look at the front there's red and the red center is to the left so you do the left algorithm it's there's two algorithms for the edges and they're both three three moves so it's really easy with the left version it's left inverted up, left, and that mat that puts this in the correct spot. Now look, looking at the top, there's an orange and a blue. The blue needs to be above the blue sticker, and then here's the left version again. So do the move that I showed you, and now here's a blue. Blue needs to go above blue, and the red is to the right. So you, with this one, you do right, up inverted, right inverted. I'll do it slower. Right, up inverted, right inverted. And that puts the edge piece. And then, let's see, with the last one, you have to make sure that you, like, you, you don't have to at first, but if you want to get really good and fast at it, you try and get the yellow cross at the same time but anyways orange on top like above the orange center and then the green, and green so it's to the left and do the left algorithm and now the last thing is completing the cross so if if you don't have a complete cross yet um, I'll show you right now okay so with this, you put the like L to the top left, and then you do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And then there's the crossbar, front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Okay, and now you finish the cross. 
So you look around the cube and you pair up the front edge with the center. So then there should be at least two that are paired up. So when they're adjacent, like there's red, red, and green, green, you put it to the front right and, or you put it to the right and back face, and you do this algorithm, you do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up twice, right inverted. And then that solves the edge parity. And then let's get on to corners. Okay, with corners, it's there's one algorithm to it, but it's a lot of work. So, so you look at the I, I flipped it around so there's the white on top, and you look at the front right top corners, and if it has a yellow sticker on it, it's good. So put it in the front right position, and then you look at the other colors, there's or there's blue and orange and then you look at the bottom right and put the edges so that it's in the blue so that the blue and orange edges are in the front and right position and you do this algorithm, you do right up, right inverted, up inverted and that puts that in that spot now you look at the top right again, and if it has the yellow sticker, you keep moving on. And the other colors is blue and red. So you rotate the bottom layer so that the blue and red edges are in the front and right side. And then you do the algorithm until it's in the right position, like this. Okay, now look at the top layer, or top right, and if it has the yellow sticker, you keep moving on. And you rotate the bottom layer so that the red and green is in the front and right position, red and green. And then you do the algorithm until that's solved. Okay, now once it gets down to... Um, the last layer, you it, it's already fixed, but if it's not fixed, you put the unsolved one on the front bottom and then do the move until it's the edges are solved back. Okay, so now you rotate the cube to the top layer and the unsolved corner piece needs to be in the front right position, like this one. Now, since this is this has a yellow sticker and it's on the top yellow layer, you just do the algorithm from the bottom, or just do the algorithm once, and then you look at the top right. There's white, and then the orange and blue. So you rotate bottom layer to so that the edges are orange and blue in the front right position. And then you do the algorithm until it's solved. And then you look, there's white, and then there's red and green. So you rotate the bottom layer until the red and edge, red edge and green edge are in the front and right position. And you do the algorithm until it's solved, like that. And now you rotate it to the last one that's unsolved and then you fix the edge and it just so happens that it's solved but if that doesn't happen it might look similar to this and when that happens you have the unsolved ones that need to be flipped in the bottom right and left position and then you just do the algorithm until it's solved like that and that's how you solve it edges first